Hi, my name is Billy D'Addario and I'm the Hippie Chick. Today I'm going to show you how to make a party bag like this one here, or this one here, or this one here. This is the third time I've tried to video this and each time there's been some kind of a hiccup. So let's give it a try. One, The third time is a charm I guess, right? So set these aside and let's try it again. Set these out of the way, way up here. Okay. So we're going to start with a piece of paper that measures five and three fourths by eight inches, and we're going to start by um, by uh, scoring it. So let me find my scoring tool. It's right here, and we're going to start on the long side by scoring it one and seven eighths, one and seven eighths, one two three four five six seven eighths and five and five eighths. So five and one, two, three, four, five eighths. Okay. And then on the short side, we're going to score it at a half an inch. And then we're going to turn it and then we're going to um, score it at three quarters of an inch. Are you guys, can you guys see this okay? I hope so. If not, let me know and we'll come up with a different arrangement. So three quarters of an inch. Okay, then we're going to do some cutting. Here's the template we're going to use. Okay, so on the three quarter inch we're going to um, we're going to cut out the center part on the three quarter inch. Okay, so we're just, or let's, let's fold it first. So that way the um, score lines will, will be clearer to see. So, okay. so on the three quarter inch side, okay, on the half inch side, on the three quarter inch side, we're going to cut out the, it's, mine, mine is upside down this time, so on the three quarter inch side, on the three quarter inch side, we're going to cut out the center, okay? Center part is going, so we're going to cut that out. go. And on the half inch side we cut out each one of the side pieces, okay? Now, when you put this together, the short one side is one side is 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 longer or yeah longer wider than the other side, and so the shorter side goes on top of the longer side. So we're going to put red line tape on the on the on the shorter side. And we're going to put that from well. First of all, what we're going to do is we're going to we're going <laughs> to we're going to um, we're going to make some curved curved corners because it just makes for a nice finish. That's, that's the only reason to do this is that it makes for a really nice finish. And everybody likes a nice finish. Okay, now on the short on the side that's smaller, we're going to add some red line tape. And you, you want the red line tape because you want, you want it to stay stuck. And you're sticking 
um, cardstock to cardstock, and cardstock always it has a tendency to pop open if you use just um, snail or something like that. And I don't like to use wet glue. Some people are great with wet glue, and wet glue works great, but I don't like to use wet glue. And then we're going to put a piece of red line tape across the bottom. And the bottom is the um, half inch side. Okay, now when you when you stick this down, you don't want to you don't want to push it all the way. You don't want to push it up all the way, and you don't want to push it down real tight because you want to have you want to have some some room in there so that way you can make sure you can get your treats in there easily. Make sure that there's lots of room. Now I put four tootsie rolls in this one. In the rest of these, there were five tootsie rolls, and now we need to just choose a nice um, closure. And I've got hearts in here and squares and S shapes. But this time I'm going to put a circle. I'm going to use a circle. Okay, come on. There we go. There we go. Okay. And we're going to just do a little bit of stamping. I'm going to set, set this aside. Put the lid on this so we don't spill everywhere. Got some cream colored paper and some stays on. Come right down here. There we go. And then um, got a punch. This is a one and three quarter inch punch. We'll punch this out. There we go. Now this is copper here, and I don't have any copper paper. But we could use the other side of this. There we go. We'll use a little bit of snail on the back of this. And we can use some snail here. So we'll adhere, adhere these two together, and then this we'll put on this. I don't know. I don't know. I don't really terribly like the way that looks. So maybe what we'll do is we'll just put this on here. There we go. That looks better. <laughs> I think that looks a lot better. Um, so anyway, now you have four different styles. Now you know what it looks like four different ways. If you have any questions, please leave them below, and I hope you have a great day, and I'll be back again. Thanks. Bye. Till next time.